Lemon? Yes. Sauce? Garlic, chili? Uh, no, but chili, please. Chili? Yeah, just a little bit. You got some more salad? Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm now back home. I'm very tired, but I'm gonna jump in the shower because my hair needs to be washed. It's kind of greasy. Um, so I thought that I would share with you guys my hair care routine now. Well, I'm not gonna shower with you guys. I was gonna do that, but. Honestly, like, I'll just tell you the products I use. Hi, welcome to my shower. I have Olaplex, I have the number four shampoo, and I also have the conditioner. I got this for my birthday this year, but I do have to say that the Olaplex, especially, like, if you have bleached hair or dyed hair or very, very dry and damaged hair, I would recommend, but, I have noticed that because it is so moisturizing that my hair gets greasy faster so I have opted for this one this is the Subaki Premium Moist Shampoo and this one is just more affordable it has more quantity I have just been switching between the two of them but the conditioner for Olaplex I really really like it it really does protect my hair my hair has been bleached but it, I only bleached it because I used box dye here before so not because I wanted this red for example this part here is not bleached and it looks exactly the same as the bottom so yeah if you guys like want this hair you guys don't have to bleach your hair and to maintain the red so usually it lasts a month the bright red after I dye it in the hair salon I get it retouched I'd say every three to six months it really depends if I have any important events I'm going in on Sunday to get it retouched, but only because on Monday I am attending the British Fashion Awards. So that's the only reason why I'm going. Otherwise, I would have just left it like this. Like, I really don't mind it. During the months that I don't get it retouched, I use this product, which is a semi permanent like coloring shampoo, coloring mask. I got this on Amazon, it's like 10 pounds. This is in the color red, which is really pretty. Like it's, I really, really like it. Now it's kind of like died down, but when it's freshly used, it's pretty red. I leave this on for about five to 10 minutes. It depends on how much patience I have in the shower. But yeah, that's what I use. So I first use shampoo, then I use the red mask and then I use conditioner and I wash everything off. I'm gonna now jump in the shower and I'll see you guys after the shower and I'll tell you guys what I do to my hair after the shower. Hi, I'm out the shower. Okay, I didn't use the red hair mask though because uh, I'm getting my hair done in two days. Oh yeah, I got a package from Jun Drunken Elephant. I wanna try out some of their products. I like to do my skincare right out the shower because I have very very dry skin and it gets drier after the shower Oh, so so cute so They gave me like a cute little pouch that I can take now traveling Oh, I also booked tickets to Paris 
For January, I'm gonna go and see my friend Mia. The only products I've ever tried from Dragon Elephant was their makeup remover balm. I actually got that as a gift and I really, really loved it. Oh my god, they got me so many things. Um, oh my god, hydration serum, facial oil. We have a mask, a jelly cleanser, baby facial. Oh my god, I'm so excited. At home facial. But effectively, it generally exfoliates the pore. Ooh! Okay, I'm gonna try this out first. <gasps> Look at how cute that looks. <laughs> oh my god, it comes with a mini facial oil. Uh, apply an even layer to clean dry skin. Leave on for up to 20 minutes. Oh! <laughs> ding, ding. It's very thick. It doesn't smell bad though. Like it's actually like some of some masks smell horrible, but this is actually quite normal. Um, but I'm not sure if like I'm applying it correctly. Yeah, so I just applied like three pumps all over the face, and I'm gonna leave that on for 20 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm gonna moisturize my body. I use this body lotion from and other stories. This is called. Hummel garden, hummel garden. This is I, okay, and I just gonna apply lotion all over my body, so I'm gonna get naked. So I don't want you guys to see. This is such a big mess. I can't do this anymore. I'm not really sure how I feel about the face mask. It's very tingling on the face. My cousin went on a date, so it's just me, myself, and I. At home. I was actually talking about it with a friend today. I was like, I'm actually pretty glad that I'm single because I'm just so focused on my career. If I had a boyfriend, I probably wouldn't be doing so much work. And work makes me happy, makes me feel useful and successful. I'm not sure how I feel about the product. It does look like more reflective like as in squeaky clean if you guys can see but um it was kind of unpleasant because it was like very tingling but i guess like you only use it once a week and it's like supposed to clean up your pores so i'm gonna have to try it out like for a month and see how it does and see if I oh it's really smooth it's like oh my god it's actually really really smooth so i am guessing that that's a good sign Anyways, I'm gonna try out some more products. I'm gonna be trying this uh, TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. I love their packaging. Hmm, it's kind of watery. It smells a little bit like silicone. And then I want to use the moisturizer. I'm gonna see if this moisturizer is as moisturizing as my two favorites. These two, the Claire's one and the Dr. Jard one, these two are amazing. Like, I swear by them. So I'm gonna see if this one can live up to the standard. Ooh, I like the packaging as well. I thought it would be like the pod ones, which I hate because it just feels unhygienic to me. Yeah. Hmm. It feels very heavy, but let's see how well it absorbs to my skin. Oh my god, guys, we're having like a girl's time. I love trying out new skincare. I haven't done this in a while. I think back in Spain, I used to do it a lot. Like just me in my room and then chatting to you guys doing my skincare. Okay, let's continue our hair care routine. I'm gonna take this off. So this towel, I will link it down below. It's made out of microfibers. Never scrub your hair to dry it. Always like just squeeze it. Cause the more friction you cause to your hair, the more breakage, more breakages. Oh my God. Yeah. And also, try to invest in a microfiber towel. I've always used a tangle teaser, like ever since I was in high school, and it just really works 
for me so i usually let my hair air dry but my cousin she recently got the dyson hair dryer so we're gonna try it out today this is my first time trying this i feel very out of date <laughs> Because I've never used a hair like a, a Dyson and it just it feels very high tech to me But I'm gonna have to go and watch some tutorials on how to use this thing Because I don't think this is how you use it um, Thankfully, I am going to a Dyson What's it called? Event on Wednesday, so I'm gonna learn how to use it I usually style it the morning off I usually I either straighten it or curl it Hair oil. This is my absolutely favorite. I am almost out of it. I take a lot though. I use three pumps on each side. Look at my hair it's so broken. Like, do you guys see that? I put a lot of hair oil because my hair is just so broken and damaged. And that's my whole little self-care routine. It's actually quite a lot. Okay, the last part I want to try from Drunken Elephant is this... C Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream There's quite a lot of eye cream in one pump Ooh, I like this one I like you It's nice and thick Yar Done Thank you guys so much for watching today's vlogmas and that is all I filmed yesterday so um, yeah it's very badly edited because it's really late now and I really want to get it up so I just want to apologize and please let me know any feedback that you guys have from this vlogmas and any more content that you guys want to see from this vlogmas but I hope you guys enjoyed I will link all the products that I use in the description box and I'll see you guys tomorrow Mwah!